Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatic nether ward farm. So, the first thing you want to have is 64 soul sand and 64 nether ward. And you want to start off by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you want to have it... 4 by um, 8. Then you want to go right here. Then do 4 by 8 again. So it's going to be 16 by 8. Then from this block right here, I'm going to build up one block, two blocks. So you're above right here put um, a line of blocks like that one above then go one above this block put a line of blocks above that like that I guess you can plant your nether wart whenever I'll just plant it now And you can make this farm as big as you want. It will work at any size. But you're just going to need to put in the redstone differently. Alright, now you want to put in your dispensers all the way across. Then you want to, whoops. You want to kind of like build up so the water won't spill. And then I'm gonna do it like this. So there's no chance for any of the nether wart to go off the side. Then just go like this. Now that you have that done, you wanna go in the back, place blocks all the way on the back place redstone repeaters all the way on the back like that so all of the eight blocks you want to have repeaters facing this way or sorry I meant dispensers facing this way then repeaters facing this way so all eight blocks and then put one more block out and put redstone all the way over so it's connecting to all these redstone repeaters then you can go down and take the signal wherever wherever you want it like wherever you're going to collect the uh, um, soul sand I guess or um, the nether wart sorry so as you can see it's all hooked up right there now all you have to do hit that oh <laughs> My bad. I, I've totally forgot this part. You have to fill up the dispensers with water. <laughs> so fill up each dispenser with water. One water bucket. Now once that is filled, then you can just hit that. And look all the nether wart will come down and if you wanna um, not have this problem of some nether wart just bouncing off right away um, and getting on the side make it put it like too high then there will be no chance for it to um, bounce off but it doesn't really matter you could just go pick those up if you really wanted to and as you can see I got all the nether wart And you're going to have to hit that button a couple times to retract the water. And then you can get ready to plant it again. So wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I wonder why we only got... Um... 56 nether wart. Let me test that out again. Oh... Never mind. 
I think we got um, more than 64. Sorry. I didn't see that extra stuff in there. Alright, so as you can see, with this, there's no way that any of the nether wart can get on here with this extra block. And it will all drift down right here. And if you wanted to, you could make a stream going to wherever you wanted and ha have it at like one collection point and just go pick that up. But it's easy like this. Yeah, see, I don't know why I'm getting 56. Maybe you don't get some if they're just one block, but, um... That's all I have for this episode, or this tutorial, my bad. If you follow the steps, you will have a lot of nether wart, and you can make this a lot bigger if you wanted to. Just put more dispensers, more redstone repeaters, more redstone. Carry the length if you need to with that redstone repeater. But that's all I have for this episode. Thanks for watching.